There's been an explosion in street art recently around Anfield. People dedicating them to players past and present uh, to play for the club. So the, the one that's behind me there, you probably recognise it, Trent Alexander-Arnold. This is, I think, one of the first memorials to go up. Um, dedicated to fans support and food banks, obviously a, a great cause in the city, which is started by Liverpool and Everton fans collectively uh, to help people uh, in poverty uh, at the present time. Uh, it was made by uh, the Anfield Rap, I believe. Yes, it was the Anfield Rap, um, a podcast and Liverpool fanzine, basically. But there's been more new ones as well. If you just look behind, <laughs> so you can't see there, past the bins. Uh, we've got Jan Mulby there, who played for Liverpool in the 1980s. Uh, quite a legendary midfielder, was known for his amazing penalty technique. So we've got another sort of fairly new one, I think, recently here. Uh, here we have Ian St. John and Roger Hunt. Uh, this is dedicated to, obviously, these two players who played their part in what many would say was uh, the first uh, great team of the modern Liverpool era. Uh, they won the club's first FA Cup under Bill Shankly, who revitalised the club after uh, they were in the second division, they were going nowhere. Um, but Sh Bo Shankly really revitalised the club and brought them to success. And these two players, these two strikers, were a massive part in that. Another legend of uh, Liverpool's present, uh, Jordan Henderson. Uh, this was made by the Rem Remen TV, uh, another sort of Liverpool fan channel, like the Amphia Rap. Uh, I believe after Liverpool clinched uh, the league title in 2020 for the first time in 30 years. As you can see there, anything is possible, never stop believing, there's a quote they went for there, uh, which sort of sums up the sort of era of Jurgen Klopp, really. Uh, this beautiful mural by Paul Curtis, who's done a lot of street work, street murals uh, in the city, did Liverpool's famous sort of live bridge mural in the Baltic Triangle, uh, and his latest edition is this, um, which is m might be one of my favourites, to be honest, because of the colour of it. Um, yeah, it just got amazing sort of colour there, the colours of the sort of uh, FA Women's Championship trophy uh, and also the, the lovely detail uh, I'll just figure out where to stand um, the lovely detail of uh, the small girl sort of uh, watching Kearns as she lifts the trophy just sort of showing what an inspiration Kearns has been uh, for loads of young, young girls hoping to get into football and Kearns as a scout from Allison showing them what, what they can do and here we have the Ian Rush mural um, okay, just found, probably, so you found here. Yeah, this is again quite recently, I believe last season, uh, this was put up. Um, as you can see there, big dedication, a sort of rather moody looking image of uh, Ian Rush uh, there, alongside one of him in colour, uh, celebrating, I believe that was in one of the uh, FA Cup finals against Everton. Um, and again, as you can see there, celebrating his sort of record for the FC, still the Pulse all time record goal scorer, an amazing record of. 346 goals in 660, 660 uh, games. And yeah, there's so much more <laughs> around here. Um, yeah, there's ones of, sort of John Barnes further down. Uh, there's a big one of Jürgen Klopp as well. Um, and yeah, ones of Stephen Gerrard and Jamie Carragher uh, in various bars. And it's not just in the uh, Bayernfield as well. There's several ones of Jürgen Klopp in the city centre too. Um, so yeah, as sort of the success continues, I think we'll be seeing a lot more murals sort of like this.